let's pop down on the ground, my man. Yeah. Uh, have you seen this place before? I haven't, but oh, look at that, man. What? What? <laughs> Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interwebs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you in another episode of Modern Minecraft for ROM. The Fullcraft server! <laughs> we are kicking things off today, growing a little bit of Inferium essence in Stress Monster's ama amazing mystical agriculture farm. Because today, my friends, today we are going to be doing a lot of crafting. I hope you guys are ready for, well, a ridiculously grindy day of modded. I am ready to rumble, baby. I got myself some coffee. I am in the mood for creating some awesome stuff. And I'm here growing Inferium Essence because today we're going to need a lot of this stuff. Supremium Essence. And to make Supremium Essence, we need a whole bunch of other essences. And luckily, the wonderful Stress Monster 101 has done a lot of the hard work for us already. You see, in Stress Monster's previous episode, which I hope you have all watched, if you haven't watched it yet, well, I'm mildly angry with you. Go check out Stress Monster's channel, man. She's freaking killing it in Fullcraft this season. Absolutely amazing. But in her previous episode, guys, she made something that I am very jealous of. Okay? It's called Supremium Armor. And it is this awesome red armor jazz over here. Now, the cool thing about Supremium Armor is that if you get a full set of it, it gives you a whole bunch of bonuses. Check it this. With the helmet, we can get night vision. With the uh, chest plate, we could get absorption, which will double the the amount of hearts we have with the leggings we could get speed or we could get uh, strength and with the boots we could also get really cool stuff too like anti-venom and fire resistance and maybe even a little bit of jump because you know what my friends I am freaking tired of getting wrecked in full craft 2 I am tired of logging onto the server and doing my business and then randomly getting murdered by some other fool when I'm minding my own beeswax and the next time any of these fools comes over here to mess with the Ren Diggity Dog. I'm gonna take him down to Chinatown, baby. I'm gonna show them the meaning of pain, if you know what I'm saying. So today, guys, we're gonna be working on creating a full set of Supremium Armor, and I also want to start working on creating a, a, a really good tool for us, or really good weapon for us, excuse me. Right now, the only sword I have is this Torment that does 11 damage. Kind of junk, if you ask me. And uh, I would like to try and... Uh, Start working on some really decent weaponry. I want to try and make some really good Tinker's Construct weapons. And uh, I got some plans. I've been doing some research. And apparently we can make a pretty good weapon uh, from Tinker's Construct. A load of you guys have been shouting at me. And you've been saying, Ren, why don't you just make an in Infinity Sword from the Infinity Cow that we have? Well, guys, the recipe for the Infinity Sword looks a little something like this in an extreme crafting table. I know it doesn't look too bad. But if we look a little bit deeper to create an Infinity Ink, Got. Just to create one ingot, we have to have all of this stuff. And uh, just to give you an example, to make one infinity catalyst, we've got to have all of this stuff. And let's just say to make one of these cosmic meatballs, we've got to have all of this stuff. So to make uh, an infinity weapon is actually not as easy as it may seem, because we can no longer make infinity ingots in the smelter. It basically got nerfed because infinity was too good. However, the good news is Stress Monster is working real hard on getting all of that stuff made for us. So eventually we will be able to make an, some infinity weapons um, but before that we're going to focus on making some really good tinkers weapons so it's going to be sweet dudes we're going to be kitted out for war baby it's going to be awesome now what is going on over here well basically this is mystical agriculture these are some very vital crops that are being uh, grown and harvested by these mechanical users this was created by stress by the way looking real good and all of this stuff gets taken into these crafters and these crafters start to make the stuff that are required and all the way back here we have got some drawers holding a whole bunch of the important jazz that we need um, and I'm making this stuff over here the inferium essence because the inferium essence is the building block for everything that we need especially the supremium essence uh, let me just show you this because this is what we're going to be basically working on today uh, supremium essence is made out of uh, superior 
Superium Essence surrounding an infusion crystal. Superium Essence is made out of in Intermedium Essence and so on and so forth, right? Uh, they all have a sort of basic recipes that all break down to the very beginning, which is Inferium Essence. And you also need an infusion crystal, which is made out of Prosperity sh uh, Shards, Diamonds, and Inferium Essence. We get Prosperity Shards by mining it from under the ground. I've got a whole bunch of in uh, Prosperity Shards here already that I've been mining. And uh, we are getting a bunch of this fertilized essence out of the system too, which I'm using to sort of speed up uh, the growth of this Inferium Essence over here, trying to make as much of this red stuff as possible, right? Now, let's take a look at the recipe for one of these things. Let's start with the Supremium Helmet that gives us night vision. We need a tinkering table, Supremium Essence, Prosperity Shards surrounding a Supremium Helmet. And to make the helmet, we need Supremium Ingots and a Supremium Armor Core. To make Supremium Ingots, we need uh, Supremium Essences with Superium Ingots, so on and so forth. Goes all the way down to Inferium Ingots, which are made with Base Essence Ingots, and Inferium Essence, which is made out of uh, Prosperity Shards and Iron. I know, guys, absolutely crazy, right? But seriously, man, this is going to be an amazing set of armor if we can do it. Uh, we also need these things called Charms, and Charms are made from the Essences, as well as Blank Charms, which are made from Superium blocks surrounded by Prosperity Shards, and Superium blocks are just made out of Superium. So... Oh my goodness, we need a ridiculous amount of materials today to make this set of uh, Superior Armor, guys. And that's why I'm uh, starting with the very basic block over here. I'm thinking, though, maybe we should uh, start collecting the Superium Essence because we're kind of going to need it. I almost want to sort of stop the Superium Essence recipe over here working so that we can start, uh, or the, the Supremium Essence, rather, so that we can start collecting some of the Superium Essence instead of just turning it straight into... Um, that stuff over there, right? So maybe what we could do actually, this is a drawer controller, which is, where is the crafting? Okay, so it's happening in here. So maybe what we want to do is disable this for now, right? Can we actually disable this thing without losing the recipe? I don't think we can. Um, I don't want to break Stress Monster's beautiful little factory out here, but I do kind of want to just start uh, turning this off maybe um, a little bit, if that's possible. Do we have like filters and stuff in here? Oh, this is just sending in Ferium Essence. Okay, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go get ourselves a chair? and uh, we can just redirect the Inferium Essence directly into a chest over here, right? So let's have a look. Do we have any chests in here? Yes, we do. Sweet. By the way, last time we were together, we were making steak and chips, baby. And uh, it's going pretty well. Look how many steak and chips I've managed to generate for Team Serious, man. Everybody is feasting on the food of the Ren Diggity Dog. It's beautiful. The little factory over there uh, is making the business for us. Uh, I'm so very happy with that, man. It's so awesome. Um, okay, so let's add a chest over here, right? And I guess this is just sending Inferium Essence. Let's have a look at the filters over here. Okay, there's no filters over there. But why don't we... T um, um, why don't... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get a little bit of Inferium Essence out of here because we're going to need it for the filter. And here's what I think we're going to do, right? We're just going to disable this one for now. Uh, let's turn it into disable. Just turn that one off for a second. And if I can get myself some Inferium Essence, we'll get all that Inferium Essence going into here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's reset that filter if I can actually get down there. Hold on. We're going to have to dig down over here, I think. There we go. Uh, and let's put a filter in here. Oh, jeez. I've completely derped this up, haven't I? All right. Let me try this again. Uh, let's actually take the filter out of here, I think. Uh, put it in here. T change this to insert if I can actually do this without derping there we go and uh, let's just disable this one for now right let's oh was this okay that didn't have anything on it let's just disable that one for now so all of the inferium essence that this little farm is generating should now be receiving the goods there was some soul sand in there which is slightly concerning uh, but let's just do a little bit of growth over here just make sure that this redirect is actually working properly make some inferium essence yeah there we go okay great so we're going to fill up this chest with a bunch of inferior essence. I'm probably going to have to go get a bunch more prosperity shards too because it feels like we're going to need a lot of that jazz. And uh, well, here we can get down to some serious crafting, guys. Here we get all the stuff together and 
Oh, it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be sweet. While that inferior essence is in the oven, Cyberdogs, let's start cracking on some of the base blocks that we need for our Supremium Armor set. We're gonna start all the way at the very beginning with the Supremium Armor Core. <laughs> this needs some Wither Skeletons and a Nether Star, which we're gonna have to get in a moment. Luckily, uh, we've got a way to get those pretty easily, uh, but we're gonna have to go all the way to the beginning over here, right? We're gonna need four of these things. Uh, one for each piece of armor. So we're gonna have to start all the way down at the base essence ingot. So let's start with that one, shall we? We're gonna make four of those and then, wow, it's ridiculous how expensive this stuff is, man. This armor must be so amazing. Uh, then we're gonna need this one, right? We're gonna need four of these bad boys for the Inferium armor core. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we got some of this stuff in uh, the system already, so that's helpful. Uh, let's just drop it in there and then we can get on to the next level which is uh this one yeah this one gold and lapis lazuli blockage oh but what are we missing over there um we are missing the essence aren't we all right let's go get some of that inferior essence my goodness man you know like i don't know how much i enjoy this part of modern minecraft how do you guys feel about this part of modern minecraft uh where you have ridiculously expensive recipes with an insane amount of materials required i don't really enjoy like the crafting part of it but I really enjoy the satisfaction of having everything ready, you know, once you've made it. Uh, hang on, that this is completely wrong. Like, once you've made something amazing, right, it feels so good, doesn't it? It feels absolutely amazing. We need Prudentium Essence uh, for this one. So, we need Inferium Essence around an Infusion Crystal. Do we have Infusion Crystals? No, we don't. Okay, let's, let's try and make some Infusion Crystals over here, which is Diamonds, Inferium Essence, and Prosperity Shards. Okay, so let's make a few of these. Uh, we're probably going to need four of those, right? But yeah, like this part of the whole thing, I don't know how much I enjoy. I mean, luckily we're a team over here, right? And Stress has been working so freaking hard uh, to get us all of these materials. Without Stress's work, we wouldn't be able to do this, to be honest with you. So we're very, very lucky uh, that Stress has been working so hard on this. But I mean, if I was doing this solo, I, I, would, I would be pulling my hair out right now, man, trying to get all of this stuff done. Okay, so let's have a look. One, um, oh geez, we need to make more more of that stuff, right? The uh, Prudentium stuff. Okay, I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna get all of this other stuff made and then we'll go get some Wither Skulls and Wither Skeleton heads and whatnot and Nether Stars because this is gonna take me a long time and I don't really want you guys to sit there watching this jazz, man. I'll see you guys in a second. Another episode where I have been murdered this time again by Exuma Void. He lured me into a false sense of security, promised me that he wasn't gonna kill me, and then he murdered me in cold freaking blood at his base. In fact, I died twice over there. I'm so angry right now, guys. Not really. <laughs> he actually, he tricked me like nobody's business, man. He promised me he was gonna take me on a tour of his base and he wasn't gonna kill me. And well, things didn't really turn out that way. I'm gonna show you guys what happened in a second. But before I do that, man, and I want to get over here to get some of the Supreme Supremium Essence because seriously, this is getting ridiculous right now, man. I can't keep being murdered like this over and over again. I need to make my armor as fast as I, as I can. I've managed to get a bunch of my, uh, all the stuff that I need to make this stuff now. To take a look at this, guys. I've got my 12 Wither Skeleton Skulls. I've got a bunch of Supremium Ingots over here and we need to make the final little bit of Ingots for the Supremium Armor uh, and also I need to finish all the Supremium Core Armor. Uh, we've got everything that we need for this. So why don't we make these things first with the four Nether Stars. So one, two, three, four. Very good. Nice. Now all I need to do is make the amount of Supremium Ingots that we need. So uh, let's make some of that jazz too. Oh jeez, I'm, I'm shaking right now, man. I can't believe that I got murdered again, man. Oh, this is so freaking derpy. Um, anyway, here we go. Let's make ourselves some Supremium Ingots. I think I need 20 of these Supremium ingots to actually make a full set of Supremium Armor. Uh, so let's make ourselves a full set here. There we go. 20 Supremium ingots. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> no worries, Exuma. No worries. Oh my goodness. It was a good trap. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I'm going to show you guys what happened in a moment, guys. But take a look at this, man. We can actually start making our beautiful, beautiful armor over here. I want to make the night vision one, though. And to do this, we're going to have to make uh, this standard Supremium helmets and then get into a tinkering table. But we'll do that in the next step, right? First and foremost, we're just going to make the standard Supremium helmet. So let's make the helmet uh, beautiful. Let's make the legs uh, beautiful. Over here, let's make the chest plate which has just got to be the normal chest plate uh, over here like so and let's make the freaking legs as <laughs> the last one. Oh, where is it um the normal legs are up here okay there we go okay nice so now we've got the supremium armor uh the base set of the supremium armor now we're going to need to upgrade this uh the supremium armor into better stuff uh but for now my friends let's head over to what just happened to me lured into a trap by exuma murdered in cold blood and i'm telling you guys i'm gonna have my revenge on these fools just you wait and see i smell an enemy in my base hi uh, hi ren hi what are you doing over here um well i've actually come with gifts man you see you with gifts yeah wow. you kill a log fella i i, I feed did. a log fella oh 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 wow steak and chips yeah goodness me that gives you 20 of those hunger points. That's how I roll, you know? I mean, I, I thought I thought we were friends, dude. I thought we were friends. We, of course we're friends. Of course we're friends. I was only joking, man. Hey, I've got a gift for you then. How about this? How okay. about this? I'll give you a pet back. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I've got to take off my magnet if I want to throw an item at you. Right. Ooh. Open that little sucker up. See what you get. Okay. You're probably going to get the best one in the game now because I've given it away. <laughs> dude, I got... Oh. I got a chest, a chest pet. The like the most basic and useless one. Oh, oh, you just disappeared. Hi, welcome Hi. back. <laughs> so Ren, yeah. I'd like you to help me out with something here. Okay. If yeah. you if you'd like to follow me, we'll just head over to to Beef's area. And uh, do you like this path that you see here that I'm working on? I'm really liking this area. Is this chisel and bits bitchage? Yeah, that's what you're looking at right there. Beautiful. It's uh, it's the the painstakingly timeful chisel and bits of going through and yeah. doing each little block one by one, pixel at a time. Looks gorgeous. I, this is the first time I've been here. It's looking pretty good. This is kind of like a spying mission for me right now, getting a lay of the land. <laughs> you are. I am actually giving you the layout of the area. Okay. You, you <laughs> yeah. need to forget everything, Ren. You need to you need to forget all of this. Okay. You were never here. <laughs> you have one of those men in black pens that just makes me forget everything. Oh. I would like one of those. <laughs> so what do you think of this biome, man? It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous, dude. It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like the exact opposite of the biome that, that you uh, gave me in Full Crop 1. You know, the evil oh, yeah. biome. This is like, oh, the, yeah. this is like the happy version of it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So this one's called Mystical Grove. Do you remember what your one was called? Uh, it was called like evil poison uh, biome of doom that no one should ever live in. Dot biome. Okay, I got I got a feeling I Do you know what I've done, Ren? <laughs> what? I've almost led you in the wrong direction here. C come to come this way with me. I don't I'm not very good at navigating our own base yet. Okay. It's it's all trees. We're trying to preserve um preserve the nature here, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying mm -hmm. to keep it all together. Some slight technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, yeah. we we've now found where we're going to. Let's let's pop down on the ground, my man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. have you seen this place before? I haven't, but oh, look at that, man. What Come over here, quick! quick what was that? Way. Oh my! Oh, oh no! He killed you! You! F <laughs> you promised oh me God. I wouldn't die if I came over here, dude. I said I said I wouldn't kill you. Yeah. I said I wouldn't kill you. I did not expect it to be that strong. You, uh, you dropped a loot bag, by the way. You sneaky, <laughs> sneaky Exuma. That's the last time I ever agree to making a video with you, dude. We're over. <laughs> okay, We're over. Twice now. Hey, I didn't kill you, man. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. That oh. was very sneaky, dude. I'm way too trusting. This this is what I've learned in Fullcraft 2. You guys suck. Trust no one, Red. Trust no one. 
All right, this should be everything that we need to make a ridiculously powerful set of Supremium Armor, guys. And guess what? I have taken a waypoint of Exuma's base. There he is. The next time he logs in, baby, there's going to be some retribution. I'm telling you, as soon as I've got myself a decent weapon, I'm going to fly over there and I'm going to hack the head off that Exuma like nobody's business. Hopefully the Supremium Armor is going to be able to resist that auto turret though, right? How powerful was that thing? Oh man, it absolutely wrecked me. Anyway, we've got a couple couple more steps over here that we need to do to complete our superior armor and take a look at this guys I've got a plan I want to put night vision on the helmet absorption on the chest plate speed on the legs and wither resistance on the boots I'm assuming that a lot of the fools are going to be going for wither uh, weapons so uh, I want to try get myself as as wither proof as possible now in order to do this to put these amazing charms on the supremium armor we need to make these charms over here uh, and what we're going to do is start by making a blank charm right i've got everything in my inventory right now to make this stuff i think so for the night vision we need a blank charm surrounded by supremium essence but we need to make four blank charms first which is made out of a superium block that looks a little something like this i've already made those uh, already so now we just need to make the blank ones surrounding it with prosperity shards so let's make four of these bad boys one charm for each um pair of or, or each item of armor right so there's another one actually let's just do this manually man and it's not listening to me right now is it there we go all right so they're the blank charms now what we need to do is plug in the different um attributes into the charms right let's start with night vision uh that's going to be made like a so with superior essence and golden carrots so i guess it kind of follows the recipes of brewing in minecraft uh for this the chest plate we are going to make an absorption charm which is made with golden apples so let's make the absorption charm we're going to have speed on our supremium legging so sugar is going to be the charm for that one and for the boots we are going to have wither resistance which is made out of nether stars by the way guys i just noticed something have a look at this man there was no need for me to grind wither skeletons today or withers for that matter we've got 106,000 nether stars thanks to stress monster so yeah forgot about that <laughs> it was a little bit of a waste of time but whatever <laughs> it was fun nonetheless okay we've got all of the charms now let's head over to the tinkering table over here and uh, let's start plugging these in shall we night vision first oh we need some supremium essence so let's go pick some of that up from uh, the supremium station over here or the essence station anyway oh man i'm getting psyched now guys here we go look at that all of that supremium essence cooking away baby we are gonna be indestructible after this well, I'm hoping so anyway. Um, here we go. Let's get going on this. We're going to make the night vision helmet. There we go. Beautiful night vision helmet. Oh, I need XP to make this. Okay. All right. So here we are at the fluid cow factory for some XP. We've got an experience obelisk over here that can give us an insane amount of XP. I'm just going to pick up like, I don't know, a couple of hundred uh, XP over here. Let's just pick up, I don't know. 200 or so maybe uh, there we go that should do um, I'll, I can always come and put the XP back right if we don't use it all but there we go now we got the XP baby now we can start making our supremium armor this is going to be epic by the way I also want to add some enchantments onto this armor uh, just to make it even more freaking amazing um, and hopefully this will work now there we go beautiful supremium helmet with night vision nice all right absorption on the chest plate beautiful uh, speed on the the leggings speed of the puma on the leggings and uh our last one is going to be wither resistance on the bootsies. Uh, beautiful. Now, that is looking pretty serious, man. Let's get our armor on and let's have a look. We've doubled up our life over here, guys. Beautiful. We've got night vision. We've got absorption. That is epic. Dang it. Exuma Void has worked out what we're doing over here. Stress, why are you giving away the secrets, man? Jeez. Why are you giving away the secrets? Anyway, guys, it's all good, baby. It's all good. Exuma Void better get himself ready. He's just rocking in that janky obsidian armor man he's gonna go down a chinatown baby now the last thing that we want to add to our beautiful um supremium armor over here is a couple of enchantments guys we're going to be using something called an enchanter and you make this out of dark steel uh some diamonds and a book and an enchanter is really cool you can actually customize what enchantment books you want to create right using a book and quill and some uh, some items here that you can add to it firstly we want to be putting mending on these things right that's going to allow our armor to appear 
repair itself uh, automatically. And for that, we need lapis and experience rods. So I need to make some experience rods over here. But there's one other very important little bit of enchanting that I want to put on here that I learned from Stress Monsters last episode. And that is soul bound. And that's going to prevent items from being lost on death, right? So if we get into a war and we die, all of our stuff is going to stay on our, bod our body so we can get straight back into battle, right? And that's super important. For this, we need ender crystals. And ender crystals are made by shoving a soul vial with an enderman into a vibrant crystal, right? To get a whole bunch of these things. Now, I don't think we actually have any of these right now. No, we don't. Okay, so I'm going to need to do a little bit of crafting over here, guys. And let's have a look. Do we have any of these in the system? Uh, no, we don't at the moment. Okay, so I've got to make a bunch of ender crystals and a bunch of experience rods. And then we can enchant our armor out the wazoo, baby. Oh, man. Progress! Gearing up for war like nobody's business. You better get ready, fools. I'm going to take you all down. Now we be cooking with the gases of revenge. Sabba diggity dogs. I've got the experience rods. I've got the ender crystals. And now it's time to take our armor to the next freaking level of OP. Beautiful. Let's take a look at these recipes once again. We need an ender crystal, lapis, and that's going to make our soulbound books. Let's start with that jazz, right? Let's get some lapis in there, ender crystal, and our books and quills. We're going to make four of these books, right? One for each set of armor. We want every single one of these sets of armor to stay on us um, when we die, right? Do we need to put it on every single one? I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Prevents items from being lost on death. I suppose we do. And I guess we're just using the same uh, we're just using an anvil to do this? Yeah. Okay, sweet. That's going to put Soulbound on there, which is awesome. Uh, hat of the dog. We're going to name that item like a so. Uh, chest plate of the plate of Plate of the dog. <laughs> We're just going to name our armor like a so, I think. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Leggings are next. And these are going to be so freaking, so OP, man. Leggings of the dog. Uh, beautiful. And now they're all glowing and stuff, which is amazing. And uh, we need our boots of the dog too, right? Boots. Or shall we call them slippers? Let's call them slippers of the dog. There we go. Uh, where is that final one? Soulbound. I, I think I actually want to make one more Soulbound book, actually, come to think about about it, uh, which I think I'll do off camera. Uh, actually, we can just do this together right now because I want to put Soulbound on my wings, on my uh, angel ring. I think we can actually do that and so that we can have flying after we die, right? That's actually a really good idea. So let's do exactly the same thing over here. Um, and we need more lapis, I think. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Let's have a look. Can we actually put Soulbound on the angel ring? Come on, baby. Yes, we can. That's awesome. Wings of the dog. Nice. Okay, so now all of our armor is not going to drop when we die. Next up, we want to make those mending enchantments, right, for all of our armor. So that it's always going to heal. And we need XP and 15 Lapis Lanzuli. So we should have more than enough for this, I think. Um, hang on. <laughs> what is going on over here? Uh, let's make it manually like a so with a book. And I think I'm going to have to make another couple of books over here, right? Or at least one more book. Here we go. Let's just get them in there nice and quick, baby. Before somebody sneaks up on me and kills me in cold blood once again. Uh, let's make one more book and quill over here. Jeez, guys. This has been an absolutely insane episode of craftage going on today. Really, really really ridiculous. I've been, I've been crafted, it feels like, for about eight hours now, man. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Now we can get all of the mending onto our armor. Uh, beautiful. Mending onto the hat. Mending onto the legs. Mending onto the chest plate. And mending onto the boot seats. Uh, beautiful. Let's get our armor on and have a look, baby. That's what we're cooking with. Eczema, try some of your funny business now, my friend, because I tell you what, nothing's gonna get into the freaking Ren Diggity Dog now dude we are safe and sound inside of this armor and look at this we move so fast we fly this is so sweet look how fast we can move now this is ridiculous look at the speed of this guys oh my goodness because of course we are getting night vision absorption we're getting speed out of the armor set of the super super supremium armor set that is unbelievably awesome thank you stress monster for doing all the work to get us all of these materials and of course for uh well put it in the time setting up all of these factories so that we could make all of these essences uh, which I've been making all day long. Now today I also wanted to make
make myself a weapon, guys. But unfortunately, Exuma freaking interrupted my recording. And, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. It was kind of funny. <laughs> I had a good time over there. And at least I know where their base is now. So it's almost time for revenge, guys. Tell you what, next time we're together, we're going to make some pimping-ass weapons. And then we're going to kill ourselves somebody. And it's going to be sweet. Anyway, Rendu Giddy Dog signing out for now, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. We are a supremium armored up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And uh, it's going to be sweet, man. As soon as we start fighting, we are going to be able to win. And I've got a neutron in my brain right now, man. That 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 cannot be good for my genetics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Ren Digger the Dog signing out. We will smell you all in the next Supremium episode.